What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Benji. We back balling, man. Okay. I feel like the MVP race is getting crazier and crazier. We're seeing plenty of stellar performances coming from players night in and night out. Uh, so it's only right that we catch a lot of these guys hooping, man. Um, Zion Williamson has been doing big this year. And obviously, since he's been back from injury, I, I think he's been playing well. So, I think it's only right that we check him out, man. The uh, Timberwolves have been playing up and down this year, man, since the Go Bear trade. And it's only right that we kind of catch up on them. So, if you're new, please don't hesitate to subscribe. Just cue the comments are down below. And uh, you can, don't forget to follow me. It's Lil underscore Benji. Instagram. Let's go, baby. Who we got winning this one? D'Lo, man, was a uh, D'Lo was an established all-star at one point, man, and I think that we've kind of seen we've kind of seen him kind of uh, I think level out. Ooh. So it's good to see that uh, the guy that he's become. Hopefully, he continues to progress. This Pelicans team got a lot of hoopers too, man. Uh, Trey. Murphy has been uh, doing his thing this year as well. Um, they got a lot of young guys doing their thing. Man. I think that three-headed beast of Ingram and McCollum and Zion should be something to worry about going forward. That's tough. Edwards. He can score the rock, man. Dude's the Energizer Bunny right there. Oh, good screen, Vucevic. But they got a, like a, they got a, you know what I mean? Kind of loaded roster. They got a lot of good pieces, bro. In New Orleans, CJ, patience. Oh, rescreen. Good. That oh, boy's good. Uh, excuse me. That is tough. Super high off the leg ass. He's a, he's a matchup nightmare. I'm telling you, for every position and angle, he's got it. <laughs> but it's always funny to hear the opposing teams, commentators, because they always throw some shade. Work. I think it's just so crazy that no matter what, this guy will find his way to the cup. Like, how does that happen, bro? This dude is a force. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. Oh, shoot. He's sneaky athletic, though. I like this. Running offense through Zion. You neutralize Gobert, bro, when you can get him away from the cup. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you. Man, get, get in your bags, huh? I like Russell's game, man. He's super smooth. Bro, it's like they continue to throw more and more people at him, but it's just an unstoppable force. He's a mismatch. Jaden Daniels is a versatile wingman. 
he can play out there on the perimeter, right? So he can defend on the perimeter. But he's too small. Ooh, get out of here. Give, give him a little forearm shiver. He's gone. And now you got Austin Rivers. That's not going to do anything to stop Zion. So you just saw two different defenders in one position. And how Zion does, doesn't see anybody, bro. This is a good dude, man. He's good, man. If he can stay healthy, I'm telling you, this dude could be... Game changer. But that's a big if. Hey! Who do you want to put on him? I don't see anybody. That was trying to go crazy. Ooh. <clears throat> Yo, literally every possession, like somebody screaming at the ref, make or miss, somebody screaming at the ref. I, I so sometimes I can't be surprised if they give out so many technicals. We've seen another defender on Zion Williamson. He can slide a little bit, try to help. Boom, I don't see you. It's such a mismatch. CJ. Man, he's super tough. What's crazy, they have all the energy going their way, but this is still a neck and neck game. Uh. They just it's like they 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 just taking turns, bro. Still in the show, Azan and CJ. Hey, look. Who wins the championship first? In the comments below, sound off. Who wins the championship first, Damian Lillard or CJ McCollum? Realistically speaking, I think in their current situations, I, I think it's going to be tough for either one of them to see a championship because they're both visiting the Western Conference, and that Western Conference continues to get flooded. So it's going to be tough to see either of them, you know, get deep playoff runs, but you never know. Maybe. Not a line. One of them gets on another team. Well, who knows? Maybe, you know I mean? Either of these teams surprise everybody in the playoffs. Who knows? That, go, that boy gets paid. Gobert gets paid a lot of money. This is enough. Hold on. What are we thinking about here? I go bear averaging 13 and 12. I mean, year 30, he's got to, you know what I mean, <laughs> he's averaging 40 million a year. One block a game. Well done by Noel again. He'll take the pick. They just got to find a way to make things mesh. Because that's a star-studded lineup. I mean, you got... A lot of all stars, bro, in your starting lineup, and I think a lot of people kind of wheeze over that fact, or they kind of slim over the fact, dude. They had D'Lo, uh, Anthony, Gobert, Cat, and who's their other starter? Is it Nas? But I mean, I know Cat. I don't think played this game, but I mean, we got like a, literally a star-studded starting lineup, and they. Cannot find success. Good pass. That's good work. 
top as they trade punches. 7 15 and counting left in regulation. Inside of seven. Come here. Every possession. It'll be McDaniels all the way to the rack over Jackson. He made some really strong moves attacking that rim tonight. Jose thought about it. And good pass. perfect pass. And Jonas staying with it. Kids be terrified, Loki, going up with Gobert. But this game is getting more and more high scoring too. Like four point game, timeout power. We ain't seen the same intensity or we just seeing better players. That's nice, man. That guy that guy can get buckets. Minnesota. Oh, there's a lot of drives to the rim this game. Okay. That is just tough. Yeah, exactly. That is difficult shot. Mm. Smart play. Looking for help. Trey run off the line. Shares it. Zion. Oh, Zion. You know what I mean? Shot that with no hesitation. He knocks that down, bro. It's nothing you can do with him. I was saying, Noel Obama. See, look at now the next matchup you have on Zion. Now you put a wingman on Zion, a true wing. Which, you know, is somebody you think would be able to slide with him. That got him a layup, though. Cause, I mean, I, I don't know how that happens because you had Gobert and McDaniels. I think that's McDaniels sitting under the basket. But for some reason. This guy took off on the free throw line, so I mean. <laughs> but I mean, he still got a layup. Oh, okay. That's how you neutralize Gobert. Having a crazy uh, rack attack man like uh, Zion. We go. We go. We go. We go. Gunk. Under a minute, bro. I, I just. These are the type of plays where you don't receive a lot of assistance from the referee. It looked like he could have. You know what I mean? There was a lot of contact intercepting that, that uh, steal, but. Not in New Orleans uh, as a Timberwolves uh, player or fan. Are you going to get that call? Work. Work. Oh, my gosh. That boy can do everything. Ugh. Mismatch. Oh, my gosh. That was explosive. Let's see you play defense. Zion been hitting free throws. Uh, you can tell a lot of people did not Zion not did not have to shoot a lot of basketball <laughs> going through the ranks, bro. Because that form is funky. He get, he get it up a little bit, I think. You know, he had a solid chance, but work, work, work. He might have traveled. Tough. He definitely traveled. He definitely did. Tough, man. Double contest. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, no. What's Zion, what, 43? 
33 points in the second half, and in the final 13 points of the game, literally just gives Zion the rock. McCollum had 20 points and 6 assists. Anthony Edwards had 27 and 6. So the Timberwolves are 16 and 19. What's the Western Conference looking like? So, I mean... <laughs> Pelicans now, with that win, moved them to number one. What? That's crazy. That's crazy how tight the Western Conference is. Oh, my goodness. And the Timberwolves only being four games behind them puts them in 11th place in the standings, bro. This is going to be a tight sequence, even all the way down to the Lakers, bro. This is – somebody let the Rockets beat them. But this is – it's going to be nitty-gritty, bro, all season for these guys to win it. Because on the Eastern Conference, and you got a little bit of disparity when we go down that far. I mean, we got 25 to 13. But, bro, it's 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 tight over here in the Western Conference, man. Because, for example, you got guys right here with 20 wins in third uh, place. And you got guys with 19 wins in ninth place. Yo, this is funny. Obviously, it's, you know, games played and whatever, but that's so funny, bro. Like, you literally have to. Like, it's Which I like it. I like it, man. It makes the NBA more competitive because now you got a lot of these games where everyone's actually coming to play. Bro, yeah, it's not just ridiculous. Yeah, shout out to Coach Willie Green. That's true. Uh, the Pelicans could have forced Zion back, but they didn't, and uh, they're starting to reap the benefits of that now. So that's good. Hey, man, what y'all think, man? Can we expect a big season from Zion and the Pelicans? Stay tuned for the comments below. I'm th pretty sure Zion has been dominating this year, and obviously the energy that he brings to the court can continue to lift the Pelicans up. So they're going to be a, a team to watch this season. And obviously, we're going to have to keep eyes on the uh, Timberwolves because they're going to play well, too. But uh, let me know what y'all think. Stay tuned for the comments. And that's it for the next video.